Now, New York's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Heartbroken families seeking justice tonight after exposure to fentanyl at daycare leaves one child dead and three others in the hospital. They was baby, angels. Who want to see a baby die like that? The man police believe to be responsible for those drugs is at this hour waiting to see a judge. The daycare owner has been denied bail and police say her husband is on the run. The commander in chief lands in New York City. The U.N. General Assembly returns to New York. We're live with what it may mean for funding in Ukraine and for your commute through Manhattan this week. And speaking of that commute, expect a wet one tomorrow. Showers moving through our area from tonight through Monday morning, but beautiful weather said to be headed our way later this week. Good evening, everyone. At 11 o'clock, I'm Sandra Bookman. Joe has the night off. We are going to begin with what you need to know as you head into the work week. Right now, many parts of our area seeing rain, and just about all of us are going to need that umbrella tomorrow at least to start the day. Meteorologist has a first look at the AccuWeather forecast and at what could be a messy morning commute. Jeff? Yeah, definitely do expect a lot of big puddles out there tomorrow morning. Give yourself some extra time if you're headed off to work or school because it will be slow going out low. And then look, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Perfect days. We're talking lower uh, 70s on Tuesday, mid 70s, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. A lot of sunshine before the clouds increase as fall arrives on Saturday and rain returns as well. And that rain could even linger into Sunday. Brittany Bell has an update early in the morning. All right. We just got to make it through Monday. Make it through Monday. Yep. All right. Thank you, Jeff. All right. That's going to do it for us tonight. Thanks for staying up late. I'm Sandra Bookman for Jeff Smith, Ryan Field, and the entire Eyewitness News team. Make it a good week, and Eyewitness News returns tomorrow morning at 4.30.